I Want to Be a Veterinarian, written by Laura Driscoll, illustrated by Catalina Echeverry. Lots of authors and illustrators like to dedicate their book to somebody special in their lives. The author, Laura Driscoll, dedicated the book to Tully. I don't know who Tully is, but Tully maybe is somebody important to her, or maybe it's an animal. And then the illustrator, Catalina, she dedicated the book to her dad, who is the most dedicated and loving veterinarian she knows. So her dad is a veterinarian. She must have known lots about animals to be able to draw all these pictures. Dad and I are waiting to see the veterinarian or animal doctor. We brought our dog Gus. It is time for his checkup. Soon Dr. Wells calls us into the exam room. She weighs Gus. Dr. Wells looks into his eyes, nose, and mouth. She listens to his heart. Gus is one healthy dog, Dr. Wells says. She is a great vet. She is so friendly and gentle. I wish I could be a vet, I tell her. I love animals, but I am allergic to cats. Dr. Wells smiles. You don't have to be a pet vet, she says. There are many other kinds. Could it be? I ask Gus on the way home. Could I be a vet? The next day, I am at my riding lesson. I see a man wrapping a horse's ankle. Are you a vet? I ask him. Yes, the man says. I am a large animal vet. His patients are horses, pigs, goats, and more. Hmm, I think. I am not allergic to any of those. On a class trip, I see another type of vet. We are at the aquarium. There is a diver in one of the tanks. She is an aquatic vet, my teacher tells us. She is feeding the fish. Later, the vet is at the touch tank. She answers all our questions about ocean life. Over the summer, my family visits a national park. In the park is a wildlife rescue center. It's like a hospital for wild animals who are hurt or sick. The vets here are called wildlife veterinarians. They treat and care for the birds until they are well again. Then they release the birds back into the wild. This is the best part of my job, the vet says. In the fall, my scout troop visits a dairy farm. It is a large farm with many cows. We meet a dairy cow vet. I test them for disease, she says, and make sure they get good food. Healthy cows make lots of good milk. We get to taste some milk. Mmm, these cows must be very healthy. I learn so much about vets. I learn there are vets who work outside. Other vets work inside a lab. They study animal health. Some vets work in schools. They teach others who will become vets. Some vets work in big, busy animal hospitals. And some vets have their own small offices, like Dr. Wells. I see her again at Gus's next checkup. I tell her all I have learned. So what kind of vet do you want to be? Dr. Wells asks me. I think it over. Then, achoo! 
The cat next to me makes me sneeze. I don't know, I say. I'm glad I have a lot of choices. Meet the veterinarians. A small animal veterinarian takes care of pets like dogs or cats. A large animal veterinarian takes care of large animals such as horses, cows, goats, and pigs. An aquatic veterinarian takes care of fish and other animals that live in water. A wildlife veterinarian takes care of wild animals who are hurt or sick. A laboratory veterinarian studies animal health. And a professor of veterinary medicine teaches people how to be veterinarians.